Good day everyone, my name is Massimiliano Gnecchi. I work at the University of Pavia and at the Fondazione IRCCS San Matteo Pavia. It is in Italy and the University of Pavia is one of the oldest universities in Italy and in Europe and I've been working there now since 10 years. Uh, I'm a cardiologist for background, also PhD, and uh, my research interests are stem cells for myocardial regeneration and the use of induced pluripotent stem cells for cardiovascular disease modeling. The advantage of stem cell therapy in cardiology is, is uh, uh, basically due, due to the fact that in certain categories of patients we still do not have a specific drug able to uh, cure the patient while experimental results give us the uh, hope that one day we will be able to cure these particular patients with the use of stem cells or most likely with the use of, uh, of the factors that the stem cells uh, uh, produce and release. Indeed, one of the advantages that we uh, uh, have by the demonstration of the paracrine uh, theory is that you can be able to identify particular factors and then now you can use, for instance, uh, protein therapy rather than cell therapy, which is much more complicated. And so, for instance, another uh, particular mediator that has been shown in the recent years are the exosomes. And so, in the last five years, there's been a lot of research going on on the identification of the mechanism of action of these microvesicles called exosomes. Uh, one of the problems of stem cell therapy to cure if you aim to regenerate the heart is the uh, poor capacity of these cells to differentiate into cardiomyocytes. And so uh, to aim to such a high goal, we need new tools to improve the efficiency of differentiation of the stem cells. Another big issue in cardiovascular disease, like in other uh, disease, is the lack of uh, uh, long-term engraftment of the stem cells. So if you inject 100 cells into the heart, in about 28 days you will end up with 1 to 4% of these cells. And only few of these cells can differentiate truly in integrated mature cardiomyocytes. So, of course, this is a big problem, this is a big issue. One of the ways to get around this problem is combining stem cells with different kind of biomaterials or scaffolds. For instance, in our laboratory, we uh, develop a particular hydrogel in collaboration with Cape Town University. And this hydrogel has two properties. One is biodegradable and the other one being combined with heparin. The heparin can bind the factors released by the stem cells. And so after 28 days, you still see some of this factor released by the stem cells being inside the heart. And there is a big improvement compared to the injection of stem cells alone. Uh, regarding the uh, stem cells uh, as a tool to repair myocardial infarction, it, at the University of Pavia and Fondazione Policlinico San Matteo, we are aiming uh, to uh, generate a clinical grade product from stem cells derived from the uh, placenta because we have recently shown that mesenchymal stem cells derived from the amnium of the placenta have much more powerful properties compared to adult bone marrow derived stem cells so we are in the process of uh, uh, scaling up the production of these particular cells and uh, we are really aiming to produce uh, a clinical grade product and we aim to test this uh, clinical grade product in a big animal model before uh, designing a phase one and phase two clinical trials. So this is truly our hope.